Oh, yeah, I know. He's been out for a while. Yeah, and then again, I mean, Beats. Beats Over is also sick. Year, he's been like, improving sick, like yeah. crazy. I think he's, what is he? He's like ranked 15th or I th something. I, th I, think, I, think he's, I think he's top 15. Yeah. Anyway, getting into it, we're starting off oh, with a really it? strong combo there from Arm. Oh! oh let's go, wow. NTSC! NTSC, boys! Mahi, right away. He takes 62%. Though. That was a super slick combo to start I off. I wasn't this even game. ready. I thought <laughs> still you weren't ready. Yeah. You were still. You weren't ready. You were just like, he thought he still had this is what you're gonna see a lot of from Marth in this yeah. matchup. Just up throw into tilt and trying to call, trying to juggle Sheik. That's the to thing. Get like generally, people will say this is a, a matchup favored for Sheik, but once Sheik is in the air, Marth can actually do some great juggling, yeah. a great edge guard there by Am um, Yeah, this match is a lot more even, especially as we're in, we are in Europe yeah. playing PAL, yeah. where Sheik doesn't have the up air uh, kill. Yeah, and the down uh, throw combo. confirms. The, yeah, the, yeah, the down throw confirms are a lot weaker. Mahi already really, starting yeah. off. This, oh, wow. Yes, so wait, we didn't have the Geeky Goon Squad uh, coin thingy, right? We did not. Yeah. But I would assume this would be very even because a lot of um, a lot of people around yeah. the world know know Maya and they probably get... slightly in Amsa's favor, maybe. I, I'd say so. Americans are more sort of um, they're, they're they're more used to Amsa considering you know after after yeah. his pound series um, third placing, he's also been to many apexes. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Okay, so, so it's very much an Amsa's <laughs> favorite right now. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I believe you know, my I can don't see worry. That. I believe. I can see why. The thing is, uh, Amsa is a very known guy. I mean, he's yeah, so Amsa, old school. Amsa, Amsa's and, been around yeah, for he's a, a long, He's like long a legend time. in the Europe scene. So. He's a, I think he's a legend everywhere, to be honest he with is, you. He is, he is. After the documentary, especially when they had that miniature yep. section on Amsa's comeback against and Dude, I mean, the Amsa tech. The like Amsa tech. Our very own. Oh, of course. Ooh, but Mahi keeping this really close right now. I really love that grab setup as well on like zero percent when you down air them with a tipper and then grab. Oh, it, yeah. put, it puts them into a it puts them into a fall state, I believe. Wow, Ooh. great recovery against yep. those needles from Mahi. Amsa definitely edge guarding uh, Marth well, which isn't yeah. honestly that easy with Sheik. If you'd held that ledge for a little bit longer, there would have taken that stock. Just forward there. Oh, he gets back. I love Amsa's stage presence. He's really like mixing up his movement with his wave lands across the platforms, coming back into the center stage and getting that forward yeah. air. Really mixing up his stage control. He has a very uh, unique like style on stage. Yeah, he Which has we this presence yeah. where he. Oh, oh nearly. We talk been. about melee a lot. How the difference of playstyles. There is. I don't. I truly believe there are no sheiks quite like Amsa in the world. It's very. True, I think actually. the only one who even quite equates to how Amsa's style plays is Kirby Kaze. Oh, oh unfortunate. that's unfortunate there. there. Oh, that was so close to. What he's got, what he's got to keep, try to keep in mind now is to not try and not let that get into his head. No. Because that's the most. That's one of the most wow, crucial. Okay. Jeez. That's one of the most crucial factors when it comes to SDs to not let the psychology exactly, play exactly. too hard on you. I know some players with like amazing mentality who can just SD and keep playing and like just shrug it off right away. Yeah. But everyone can't do that. So we'll I, see. I think one player who's actually really good at like shrugging that off is um, Plop in from Florida. Uh, and you see Plop SD, he just laughs off. Yeah, he he knows it's all part of the game. He knows it's going to happen. But we are back into neutral on FD. Um, I think it's a pretty pretty good stage choice from um, from Maya. Yeah. Cause it, it limits um, Amsa's movement options. Because we saw with Amsa there on Battlefield, Really maneuvering across this platform yeah. really slickly. So to have the oh, really nice combo we'll there from Maya. Uh, I mean, easier juggles for Maya as well. Yes, I mean, exactly. that's a crucial part of this matchup. Oh, the down air, too. Okay, <laughs> too yeah. high. That was yeah, too high percent yeah. there. <laughs> Knockback was too great on that down air. Back into neutral. Really yeah. nice dare out of shield there. That's a really good option that you don't see many moths using dare out of shield. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a bit risky. I mean, it's a very yeah. laggy move and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you've, really, you've got to, you've really got to rely on your space and your timing. Yeah, very it. true. But if you if you get it right, if you do it right, it's actually a great tool, and it's different in PAL, so uh, it's oh, actually not bad. At all. Questionable DI there from Maye, going straight back toward, looking like an NTSC yeah. down throw. There. Oh, these uh, needles from Amsa have been absolutely devastating off the stage. Yeah, he really knows how to u utilize those needles. Yeah, I, I think that, that's coming from experience as well, like years and years yeah. of experience against many different Ooh, marks. See? Ah, okay. Yeah. He makes it back this time. Really nice down smash just to keep him off from there. We keep seeing Amsa at center. St ah, I see that needle to that ledge grab. That was a sick, super slick, quick. slick yeah. needle there. And Amsa, he's comfortable at center stage. He doesn't mind. He just controls stage. Yeah. Controls that's, one, that's one thing about Amsa's play that I've really sort of noticed after watching him for so many years. Yeah. 
He's really, really comfortable just like, just taking the stage. Ooh. Oh, slick combo there into wow. the monster tipper. See it work? That oh. oh, that was so close. Not again, not again, oh. Mahi. Mahi, please. <laughs> please stop. Mahi, calm down. <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, we're so, we're so like, I'm shaking like, by that. Uh, I'm shaking on, legit. <laughs> I want to see these guys play. It's like, this is a great... I want to see a game three. Yeah, yeah. I want to see a game three. I, I believe both guys have potential to take the game three. Okay, so... Mahi's like, he's been controlling the game, sort of, but... Oh, is that it? That's yeah, it. Tipper, wow. down tilt. Once you get once you get Sheik off stage, her recovery is very readable and very predictable. It is, yeah. Once you grab the ledge, I mean, Marth doesn't have the greatest punish against that, but oh, is that oh, it? Is that, no, no. Doesn't quite he, get a punish there. Yeah, on there. could have probably taken advantage of that. Better. Yeah, I, I was quite, I was honestly quite expecting him to go for a down, a down air, like one of those tipper down, tipper down airs, but. Um, Okay, let's go. Oh, nice really nice down tilt tip. Um, tip of the floor there. Oh, that was wow. Nice and Amos is getting it back. Exactly. So this we are is down to our last. Very stop. close again. I mean, for 61%. That's nothing. Okay, he's, he's stacking it up now. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Uh, Ooh, is that, that going to be it? Amos doesn't have a second jump. Questionable recovery. But he has, by he has the um, he has the up B. Did he get off anything off that? It, if that oh. was a tipper, it would have killed. That probably would have killed, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Okay, that's. He almost did the same thing there. Oh, that down it? tilt, that's got to be that's it. Gonna yeah. Be yeah. yeah, I'm just okay, I'm 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 knew that was the end of it. Yep. Oh, so uh, <laughs> a, sli a, a slight cheer for Maya there from the crowd. Yeah, Maya's just like uh, proving these doubters that I I'm, I can play against a player like Amsa yeah. and I can do well. Yeah, okay. I, I think people have known that for a while about Maya in Europe, but obviously people outside of Europe don't really understand how yeah. strong Maya is as a mark. He's just getting better. And, and we better. are going to Dreamland. Yeah. Interesting stage choice, honestly. Uh, I wouldn't say. I mean, uh, actually, a lot of players, especially Spaces, tend to go here versus Marth. Uh, yeah. The high platforms uh, kind of screw him up. Yeah, I can imagine that limits yeah. um, a lot of his options. It doesn't allow him to get the tipper off exactly. the platform. But right there, it shows that, you know, my, my he's saying, you know, I can get tippers anyway. Doesn't yeah, matter. he just throws them out, hits them randomly. So the thing about Mahi, right? Um, ooh, Those needles, needles from oh Amsa. God, Amsa! That was an incredible wow. edge guard. That was actually amazing. I Damn. Mean, the precision, the the quickest ledge grabs. Just he knows how to edge guard. He Mark. knows That's exactly yeah. what he's doing. That was so slick as well. It, took, it almost didn't seem like it was like like time to sort of like yeah. slow down. And I was just like, nope, nope, it looked, nope. It looked rehearsed, right? It did look yeah. rehearsed. It looked almost flowchart esque. Yeah. I don't think Amsa wanted a forward smash there. That looked a bit like a tech club. I don't know. Has does Amsa have any? Ooh. I don't. I don't feel like any sheik really has forward smash tech in melee. I don't know. I was thinking like if he has any uh, Marth matchup. Ah, oh, that's Marth matchups yeah. in in the Netherlands. Netherlands. I'm trying think to think so. of any. Strong. No, I, all the all the masks I'm thinking of, all the names that come up to my mind, are either Reaper, Maya, or Selpa. And that's yeah, all I'm thinking you probably has been playing He's, against yeah. them, all of them, a lot because these the, the countries are yeah. so close to each other. I mean, Germany, Netherlands, yeah. France, and yeah, so they've probably played a couple of sets in terms. And of just like that, I'm just taking another one of Maya's stocks with a precision. Maya is doing some interesting DI stuff here. Cause he's DIing towards him out of the down throw. And that's setting up for a most NTSC like sh grab game. See, and once just again, like that, yeah. Needle ledge grab. That's all it takes. Um, I mean, it's it killed before at like 30, so. I like what Maya did there, just taking his time, realizing that he's you know still got line invincibility, just sort of yeah. take, a take time out and think about it. But just like that, 70%. Where did all that percent come from? I have no idea. He <laughs> like I'm <laughs> set two. Oh, uh, that dance is going to take it. Is that it. a three star? That was a three star. Okay, so it is best of five. It's best of five. Yeah, it okay. Like they're getting up. <laughs> quite yet. No, not quite yet. Pokemon Stadium. I quite. I like this choice. This stage is actually getting more and more popular with Marth. Even yeah. against like Fox, who uh, people think has a favor in this yeah. stage always. A lot of Marths have been going here against him. It, is, yeah. it, might just be, it might just be stage preference from Maya. True. Uh, wow, double four there. And is that Maya got... No, Maya ah, recovering. He misses the sweet spot, though. But I'm still trying to punish right, there with that grabbed. dash attack. The thing is, once you uh, grab the ledge against Sheik, uh, she has to recover on stage, right? Yeah. But when she does, 
Oh, nice. Marth doesn't really have a great punish against exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. That was a really solid combo there. Dare into forward air. Down smash. Oh! oh and the pal can the pal com ah, the pal can dope. combo. Coming in strong. Representing EU. Representing the EU. Of course, you are watching B6. <laughs> Let's go, pal. P A L, the finished version, the complete I know. I mean, version. I mean, the, the, the unnecessary nerfs version. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zelda seems pretty good. No, 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 Nintendo. What are you, Nintendo, what are you doing? Why? Why are you nerfing Ganon? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, and then sucks. it just took out extender for some reason. Oh, Back yeah. into neutral. Okay. Oh, the tree. Of course. My oh, the long sword oh, straight love, through yeah. the tree. I love that like the jank you can do with Marth on this stage through uh, all just of the through the tree. Yeah, all of the uh, well, transformations. Oh, he's, he's, I call out the mini. I call out the mini picks. You have the big pit on the oh, mountain yeah. stage. <laughs> That's the mini pit. Both of them are fox pits. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to go in there. Oh, really nice tech off the tree there. Oh, ah, the hit strong back air through the tree. Yeah. Yeah. It's you, not man. just swords that go through trees, it's limbs. Everything. The stage is so dumb sometimes. I love I like the stage, that. but it's so dumb. I love stadium, but I just wish... I don't know, I, I like the transformations, but I also hate them at I know, the same I know. time. Yeah, yeah. I love the neutral uh, stage. The neutral one is great. Yeah. I wish we had Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get a nice here combo go. here. Juggles. See, if he had a top platform there, he could have extended that juggle. Yeah, I think that's one of the issues of coming to uh, Stadium. Yeah. Of course, you have the low platforms, which mean a lot of like mobility and a lot of follow-ups. Exactly. But you don't get that final follow-up yeah. off the top that people might want. But I guess you get that from the transformation at the same time. Okay. Down air, strong back air. Oh, Amsa just extended his lead here. Oh. Amsa went so deep wow. for that edge guard. And I think that's I think that's a strong mentality thing as well, because if Maki knows that Amsa's coming down to get him, yeah. he could try and like maybe throw out back air, send him too far away to recover. But yeah. then again, you know, Sheik has such you know it, her recovery just goes so far. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, I feel like Amsa right now he's showing no fear. He's, he's just showing true yeah, control. I mean, look at this. He he has. Re oh, that's it. And that's that is good. done. Yeah. That was such a strong set to start the stream off. Bro. Agreed. Like, I look mean, at this. Look at this combo. Amsa looking really crisp. Forward air. Forward air. I think he ledge cancelled that first forward air as well. Look at that needle. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. That really hit. And it's weird to think that Amsa took a short break from the game as well. Like yeah. the shortest of breaks. My goodness. I mean, he. Can't